are well and having a beautiful day so far. Today, we are just gonna have a full-blown pack and prep day for our trip to the New England area. We're leaving tomorrow morning super, super early. Our flight's at five something, so we'll probably wake up around three, leave the house around four at the latest, so it's gonna be an early morning. So I just, before we go on a trip, I always love to kind of make sure all my ducks are in a row and make sure the house is all clean and ready and you know, we have everything we need. I just, it, I can enjoy myself so much more if I actually take time to really be thoughtful about my packing and everything else. So that's what today's for. I just got out of the shower because one thing I love to do before a trip is wash my hair, do some leave-in conditioner just so it's nice and moisturized. So I'll show you the conditioner I used once we pack up our toiletries. And then I also did some self tanner, which I always love to do before vacation as well. And I shaved, got that done with, so I don't have to do it over vacation. Well, I'm still gonna need to, you know, shave a bit, but you know, I just, I love to get that kind of tedious stuff done with so that I don't have to worry about washing my hair right when we get to our destination. So. We crossed that off and then the first thing I want to do now is just pack all the obvious things that I know I want to take and I always love to outfit plan so we'll spend some time doing that and we also need to check the weather. I've been kind of monitoring the weather but obviously typically it changes every single day so we'll start doing that. That's where we'll begin but I'm excited to spend the day with you all. Let me show you guys the weather, what we're working with. So first we fly into Boston and tomorrow it is supposed to be rainy so I don't know if I should pack, we'll definitely bring little umbrellas but I don't know if I should pack um, rain boots or anything. I think I might just wear sneakers and <laughs> hope for the best but yeah it's looking to be quite rainy tomorrow so we'll see what happens but the high is 70 and the low is 59 so compared to what we're used to right now in summer in florida that is a big difference that's like a 20 degree difference so definitely want to layer and bring some jackets but we'll also be walking around a bunch and then in cape cod it's looking like highs of 68 66 72 so again that is quite a big difference for us summer floridians so definitely need to you know pack some warmer clothing so that sweater will be perfect but again i definitely want to just bring some other jackets as well and i'm gonna pack a couple bathing suits because it is a coastal area so all the towns the beaches nearby and you know it's kind of surrounded by the coast but i don't imagine us actually like spending an extended period of time at the beach but i definitely just want to have one just in case and we'll definitely plan on walking on the beach so yes and then I have this cute little gingham set. It's like this yellow gingham blazer and the shorts. And then I'm just going to pack this bodysuit to pair with it. And then I also have this adorable sweater vest with the flowers. I absolutely love this. And I think I will wear this with these linen pants. But I just want to try them on to make sure they work. And then I also have this beautiful beige blazer, which I was thinking might be nice for the airport tomorrow in Boston. And I could either wear these linen pants or a different pair of pants and then like a white tank. And that would be good for walking around and some white sneakers. So we'll try that on soon. Yesterday, I spent a ton of time mapping out our itinerary for the trip. So like what specifically we're gonna do each day. And I don't have it like mapped out every single hour, but I just kind of planned some activities. I booked a little whale watching boat ride for us. So that's super helpful with packing is if you can kind of have at least a general idea of what you're gonna do each day so that you know what kind of outfits to bring and what kind of attire. So I'll show you guys kind of how I plan the trips because I know it can be so overwhelming. I often get a little overwhelmed too because you know you want to maximize and make the most out of your trip but there are so many different things you can do. So what I like to start with is I like to first of all ask for recommendations and then I'll make just like a Google document with 
just writing down every single recommendation and I'll also make a Pinterest board of just like different blog posts and different beautiful places and kind of have that all together but then I'll make this Google Doc and then list all the places in each specific town so that's what I did and then I pull up Google Maps and I plug in where each kind of destination is to make sure I'm doing them all like in one area at the same time if that makes sense and then I go into our calendar um, just on Google Calendar that's what I use for my calendar and then I'll map out like what we're gonna do each day and kind of time block it but of course you know things are subject to change for many different reasons so it definitely varies but this is just super helpful to again make the most out of the trip but to for outfit planning so you know what kind of stuff you should bring and what you're gonna wear for each day so that's what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna I have basically a few different outfit ideas and so I'm gonna pick out which one I want to wear each day and then see where we have holes and missing pieces and then find other outfits for those other days so that's the plan Okay, I'm in our closet now and basically I just kind of sifted through everything I own just to see what other pieces that I potentially might want to wear on the trip because I think we have five outfits already but I like to have a few backups and of course sometimes you might want to wear something in the morning but then if it gets a little chillier at night you might want to bundle up a little bit more so basically that's what I just did and I have a whole other pile of clothing now over there so we'll just kind of go through that and see if there's any other pieces that I definitely want to make but I do not like overpacking so this is why I'm so intentional with it all because if you really do plan your outfits in advance before your trip you are less likely to overpack and I do like to have extra outfits just in case but that's just kind of a little tip I have so that you're not lugging around a bunch of other things that you don't even need. Okay, five outfits pretty much doubled as I went through my closet. I found quite a bit more pieces that I want to take. So, let me just give you an overview. I have these two white dresses. One is a shorter dress and one is a maxi dress. And I just feel like that's just such a summer classic. And it'll be easy if I just want to throw that on for dinner or something or as a cover up for the beach. And then I have this really pretty pink dress that I think I want to wear in Nantucket but I still need to find a good jacket to layer so I don't know if I should bring a cardigan or if I can bring something like this I don't know I need to try it on and see how it it layers because the sleeves on here are really puffy so not so sure about that and then over here we have some just really cute green pants with this pretty pattern and then I have a little white button up so I could wear this I could pair these together if it's a cool I mean a warmer day and then if it's cooler I can wear this sweater with the pants so that's kind of my thinking behind it and then I also just want to bring these white shorts because these are just a great basic and then the sweatpants to wear on the plane ride back home I think so yeah we got quite a bit let's see if it all fits in this carry-on but the good thing is i usually take a carry-on and then brandon my husband it takes a checked bag so we'll put all of our toiletries in his suitcase and then any other extra clothing that i want to take will also fit in there as well so let's let's try to fit everything through here actually before i even start packing it up i want to make a list of which outfits i want to wear on each day and typically I like to try on every single outfit to make sure I like it before I pack it but most of these outfits I've already tried on before and I've worn them before so I know I love them it's just a matter of kind of deciding where or which day I want to wear each outfit on so again that just helps me stay organized and not overpack 
Taking a little lunch break from the packing, Brandon made us a fabulous lunch. We have some salad, some non bread with yogurt, apples, and I'm also munching on some plantain chips. So delicious. But another thing I'd love to do before we go on a trip is try my best to clear our fridge so we don't waste any food. Hi, Palmer, are you hungry? <laughs> I have to take him to my mom soon because my mom's watching him. When we're on our vacation and I always get emotional, well, I've only, we've only left him one other time, but I always get emotional about it because I'm gonna miss him so much, but it'll be great. He'll have such a fun time. I already pretty much all have all of his stuff packed up, so I'll show you guys um, kind of how I pack his stuff. But yeah, we're doing pretty good with our produce in the fridge and kind of clearing that out. And we need to have one more big salad because we still have quite a bit of lettuce, but we're getting there. The king of the house. I'm gonna miss you, baby boy. Okay, so I have all of Palmer's goodies in this bag right here. I just have this little bag full of um, poop bags for when he goes potty. And then I have a big thing of treats and bones. And I have, I actually don't need to take that whole thing because I packed up just a little bag of them. And then I have a bunch of toys and some more treats and some kibble. We have his uh, fresh food that he eats every day, but I just want to take some of the kibble as well so that, because um, I use that to put in like little food games and whatnot. So I'll pack a few of the farmer's dog food, which we love. Oh my goodness, it's the best. I mean, I've never had it, but <laughs> he loves it. And it's just really good ingredients. So I need to remember to pack those. And then this is what the fridge is looking like. It's still pretty full, honestly. I have half of a watermelon, but I honestly think the watermelon will be okay if I just leave it like this. Cause we're not gonna be gone that long. I definitely wanna finish the cherries, eat those up, and then the peppers and onions we can eat in a salad. And then I'm gonna freeze the watermelon and I also need to freeze these berries because they definitely will not be good by the time we get back. And the non bread, I should probably freeze as well. I also picked up a few snacks that I wanna pack for the airport. So I got these pistachios and I think I'm just gonna bring this whole entire bag. So that's easy enough. We'll put that in our carry on. And then I also picked up this Annie's snack mix, which yum, so delicious. So to kind of save room, I think I'm gonna take it out of the cardboard box and then just take the bag in my backpack. Are you gonna sneak into my suitcase? <laughs> I had some leftover morning coffee, so I just poured it over ice for a little packing pick-me-up. I might still pick up some iced coffee once I drop off this little crazy but I wanted to sip on this in the meantime. but we've made some major progress. I picked up a few accessories that I wanna take as well, and I think I'm just gonna pack these up into this little purse, which is so cute. It's not the most practical purse, but it's adorable, so we love it. And you actually can fit quite a bit, so it, it's good. It's just one thing I don't like about it is that you can't wear it over your shoulder because it just has the you know, small little handles. But again, it is absolutely beautiful. And then I have my shoes, and I'm taking this, book so I actually have another book that I think I'm going to take on my carry-on and then I'll just pack this one in our suitcase so that's the plan and then I still have this stuff over here I'm still deciding which shoes I want to wear for the airport and then I'm still deciding which jacket I want to take and then this backpack is what I'm going to take for my carry-on I think okay I just got home from dropping off Palmer at my mom's it's always sad, but he's so excited. He could not love her more, so I know he's going to have the best time. And I picked up a couple souvenirs on my way home. I picked up a iced cafe con leche from my favorite Cuban cafe. So I'm just sipping on that. And then I also picked up this really pretty scarf that I'm going to wear in my hair. And I'm going to pack it. 
and that's from a place called Avalon Exchange, which is this really cute kind of secondhand shop. So picked those up and the rest of the the rest of the tasks on my agenda today are one I need to prepare like our garden and backyard for us being gone. I didn't like ask anyone to come water our plants because I think they'll be okay. It pretty much rains every single day in the summer here. So I'm just going to kind of arrange them so that they'll get some water while we're gone. And I'm going to give all of our plants a good watering right now so that they'll be nice and hydrated and I won't neglect them. And then I also just need to try on like my airport outfit, make sure that's good and decide what coats I want to bring. And I need to freeze the stuff in our fridge that'll go bad and I also want to do my hair so I think I'm going to just kind of tame it a bit because we're gonna try to go to bed around 8 p.m. tonight because we have to wake up at 3 a.m. for our flight so I'm definitely not gonna want to do my hair in the morning so I'd love to kind of just tame it tonight sleep on it and then you know just I I don't it doesn't need to be perfect tomorrow especially if it's gonna be rainy speaking of I need to pack umbrellas so let's get busy I'm also packing my vitamins for the trip and these are the two that I currently take. I take the Ritual Essentials for Women vitamins and these are just a multivitamin. And then I love these elderberry gummies and they're basically just an immune gummy and elderberry is great for your immune system and these are honestly just really delicious so it's like eating a little sweet treat. So I found Self in tears Every day was filled with fear When you feel you wanted more And suddenly you're on the floor And I left my heart with you There is nothing else to do I would like to have it back It's broken and far from pack our toiletries our bathroom is <laughs> quite hectic right now this is my toiletry bag and I pretty much just keep kind of my travel basics in here like makeup remover face wash mouthwash shaving cream all that good stuff but I've got my razor and I'm gonna take this body spray which I think I'm gonna put in the carry-on I mean the checked bag because I think it might be a little too big and then this is the self tanner I used today it's the one I've been using for quite a while and I really like it it's the loving tan two-hour express I actually need to pick up some more and then this is the hair mask I used which I also really like it's the it's a 10 miracle hair mask able to fit all of my makeup in this section of my toiletry bag which is great so that I don't have to bring a separate makeup bag so it's all in one place and I'll just kind of leave it here until the morning and I can put like my toothbrush and any final things in there okay friends I just tried on my airport outfit it's really nothing crazy got my blazer got a tank got these linen pants which I'll probably wear for other you know different outfits as well and then my really comfy just kind of chunky sneakers which these would actually be good in the rain because they're so far off the ground and you know they're rubbery at the bottom so i think that's a good plan that's gonna be it for today's little pack and prep with me though i feel very prepared got everything sorted out which is just such a good feeling before our vacation so just gonna pray everything goes smoothly i do always get some kind of like little butterflies before vacation i'm really excited but also there's a lot of logistics that go into it so just gonna hope for a good night's sleep and a really memorable and fun time but thank you guys so much for spending the day with me and we will be vlogging this trip so i'll have some travel vlogs and kind of share the adventures with you all so i don't think the travel vlogs will be up for like a week after this video but if you want to go on instagram in the meantime i'm sure i posted many pictures and videos and updates there so you can check it out but thank you guys so much again for watching i love and appreciate you all so much and cannot wait to see you soon bye